Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the three brand new benches coming in the week 89 update. They are the Foundry, the Forge and the Advanced Masonry's Bench. The first item we're going to be looking at today is the Advanced Masonry's Bench. Now right now, this pretty much just does what your regular Masonry Bench does. It requires 250 water. To give you some comparisons between the advanced masonry bench and the regular masonry bench. As you can see, 250 water and 250 water. If I just open up the old masonry bench, it gives you everything that the current advanced one does. But obviously in the week 90 update, that is going to be the new frontiers expansion. So who knows what we're going to get. Could be a prelude to all of the new stuff that we'll be getting in new frontiers. The advanced masonry bench is craftable under your tier 3 blueprints and it's right at the end. It will cost you to craft 25 refined wood, 15 epoxy, 80 nails and 150 stone and it's craftable on the machiner bench. It's really cheap in all fairness. And the next new item is the forge. This is only placeable outdoors. This is the forge here. This is now where you're going to craft your iron and platinum tools. Obviously, you're going to still be able to use the anvil for your early game stuff. The forge is now where you're going to be doing your platinum tools. So, for example, your iron ball to steel stuff and your platinum stuff. Another big change with the introduction of the forge is that you can now use charcoal as a fuel source. The forge is also craftable in tier 3 and it's right at the start. You just need to unlock the cement mixer and then you'll be able to unlock the forge. It will cost you 20 iron ingots, 150 stone, 8 epoxy and 20 steel ingots and it's craftable on the machine and bench. Unlocking the forge is the only way you're going to be able to get access to your platinum tools now in your tier 3. And next is the foundry. This is by far the biggest craftable item in Icarus now. It's two stories high. As you can see I've got it housed in this little makeshift structure here. You need to build two stories high and it requires 2,500 power. The foundry itself will be able to craft everything. So this does everything up to tier 4. You can find the foundry under your tier 4 blueprints and it's just after your electricity tool. Now you've got to unlock the foundry to get access to all your tier 4 equipment or like your titanium axes etc. The crafting cost of the foundry is 5 titanium plates, 8 electronics, 15 concrete mix, 18 steel screws and 5 glass and it's craftable on the fabricator. The hardest thing about this is getting the 5 titanium plates, that is a lot of titanium ingots. The foundry actually has a really cool animation as well so let's go ahead and make some nails. So let's go ahead and make some iron nails and there we go. And that's the animation the foundry does. I think it's pretty cool. Remember how I spoke about using charcoal on the new forge? Charcoal also has another use come this update. So at your mortar and pestle now, you can now make steel bloom with charcoal and iron ingots or the raw iron. So now charcoal has multiple uses now. If you found this guide helpful to the new forge, foundry and the advanced masonry bench, let me know down in the comments. As always, guys, if you did find it helpful, leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. I'd greatly appreciate it. It does help out the channel a lot. Any additional changes that happen to these three benches that I've covered in today's guide, I will bring out an updated video covering them.